Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial of uh, blending in Photoshop and now we're gonna go ahead and start right now we're gonna create a new document that's gonna be around yeah, let's say 2500 pixels medium sized document and uh, RGB color is 16 bits and uh, Photoshop uh, it's kind of annoying he always creates a lock background for you um, in the first place so let's create a new layer that you're gonna paint over and go to the background color if you ever want to change uh, the kind of annoying white that it comes with well choose the paint bucket with the G the G key and then uh, let's say we'll apply like uh, something like a gray to it anyway let's go back to the layer that we're gonna paint on press B to choose a brush choose any brush that you want well we're gonna be blending skin today so I'll I'll choose like a splatter brush like this and uh, if ever you want to change your um, your uh, brush size just press the alt key and then right click and you can change any size that you want it's a rather neat trick uh, evidently I applied uh, my right click to the pen that's why I can do it alright so make sure that's a hundred percent opacity just for laying down like uh, diverse swatches We'll go with a rather light skin tone, something like that. Let's apply this. Let's choose a darker skin tone, like let's say, ooh, you're in the shadow or something like that. Yes, there we have it. There we have some skin and shadow. All right, for the blending part, make sure your opacity is at about yeah, something like 30, 40 percent. And color pick. I'll do color pick. Alt key. It's a real, real time saver. You'll get any color that you color pick from. Oh, let's say now we have gray. Now we have brown. All right. So color pick a color. Just apply some in the middle. There we go. As you can see, since it's a uh, lower opacity, you can see like the darker one uh, on the bottom that's shining through. So let's color pick this one. So it's gonna be basically like a little mix uh, between the two colors, and then just apply some more in the middle a little bit on the dark on the dark side a little bit on the light side just like this and then color pick the brown just go ahead and color pick the white one and just brush just brush away brush away till you greet the two colors together till they come and create a harmonious effect that's what you want you want something smooth something pretty everybody wants something pretty right so there you go that's kind of a smooth transition kind of a smooth transition but you can see we keep the brush stroke the brush stroke intact and that's a cool thing especially if you want to do portraits or thing like that you want to keep the brush strokes intact so you shoot the forms and uh, to really get it like a uh, more textured feel to it uh, let's say we want a smoother blend something something a little bit smoother like let's say mm, let's say like plastic or something like that like a smoother texture um, color pick with the alt key this one we'll apply nice big swatch a swatch that's a nice swatch all right so now for the blending part like choose your brush and go to the mixer brush right here make sure it's at wet and heavy mix yes wet and heavy all right, so we go and pick the bright color and just put a little bit, a little bit inside the darker color over here, and then do the same thing and bring it in over, bring it over just like this. Just keep alternating like this until you reach a satisfactory feel. All right, as you can see, it's a lot smoother, right? Eh? So that's smoother, a lot more gradient, a lot more, uh, a lot more harmonious design, we would say. But you miss the brush strokes, and so it's it really depends on your taste. It depends on uh, the kind of feel you want to give it. It depends on uh, like there's really no hard rules in art except for the fundamentals, but uh, it really depends on your taste. So uh, there's really like that's the two basic mo most common way to bro to blend in Photoshop. I suggest never using uh, the smudge tool. It's uh, really like too much computerized. Uh, it doesn't doesn't blend well. 
So uh, there we go. That's how to blend in Photoshop. I uh, hope you learned a lot. I uh, hope you liked it. If you didn't like it, uh, tell me why. Tell, uh, and um, I'll probably make some uh, some uh, some stuff about like getting started in Photoshop and uh, maybe like more beginner stuff. And uh, hope you enjoyed. Have an awesome day and uh, keep drawing.